Chupacabra, is it real or is it fake? We have a video that might prove that it does exist. I think it does. Let's watch. Uh, people were coming back inside with cell phone pictures and they said, do you know what this is? Like I took a picture of an animal that was running past us while we were smoking and I didn't know what it was. And they were being passed around and no one knew what it was. So we decided to trap it. So last Thursday, using chicken and leftover Chinese food as bait, the X-ray tech captured the animal that has captured the imagination of hospital workers, all of whom are still trying to figure out what it is. After taking dozens of cell phone videos and pictures of whom they have now nicknamed Prince Chupa, they let him go and have contacted area veterinarians hoping that someone can help them ID the beast. That's the most non-vicious chupacabra in the world. But it's definitely a chupacabra. That's why I pounded the gavel. Guilty. Okay. Now, you know why? The tail. Mm -hmm. It's well known that chupacabra has a very long rat's tail. Is it? I, I didn't know that it did. <laughs> no, but seriously, mm -hmm. that's not an animal we're familiar with. That is a very, very long tail. Right. Okay. But is that... Among the other weird features that it has. First of all, I can't believe they let it go. I can't believe that either. <laughs> By the way, I will not believe that it's a chupacabra. I believe that it is an animal that we have not yet discovered. Okay? We've discovered, but let it go. But I think that it's just some random animal. It, I will not believe that it's a chupacabra until it's sucking a goat's blood. No, and but then that's, at that point, but that's my point about the chupacabra. Mm -hmm. That it's an animal we hadn't discovered. That it's not that big a deal. In fact, Jesus Christ, I believe I made this prediction earlier on the Young Turks. I don't know why everybody flipped out over this, right? Like, is it or is it not? What is it? Yeah, it's a coyote that mutated a little bit. For those people who don't believe in evolution, I guess it blows their mind like there could be a new animal. But aren't we discovering like 30 different new species every day in the Amazon? So why couldn't a coyote mutate a little bit and get a little longer snout, go hairless, and voila, chupacabra! Did that chupacabra have a long tail? I couldn't tell. No, that right. was a totally different animal. <laughs> Nonetheless, the chupacabra definitely exists. Look. They just call it a chupacabra. Did that particular animal suck the goat's blood or did the kangaroo looking rat suck the goat's blood? Who knows? But what, I'm, what I've always maintained is that people who thought it was like the greatest myth legend like Bigfoot and Aliens Landing, I'm like, what's, what's the big deal? Obviously a mutation happens, a mutation happened, it's a different kind of animal, everybody calm down. You see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. I just think there's a bunch of animal species out there and a bunch of animals and insects and all sorts of living things that we haven't discovered yet. That's the moral of the story. Mm -hmm. Whether the chupacabra exists or not, who cares? You know what? It also makes me believe that maybe our uh, epic mountain man might have been right about that uh, Bigfoot that he had. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Instead of them. <laughs> him. Now, I can't. I don't have the th I'm going to guess here. Let's try a couple here. Oh, so she's enjoying penis a little bit more, is no. she? Still no. fun, though. Still <laughs> no, fun. no, that wasn't him. Long-legged Mac Daddy. It's Not him either. So that's, that's another chupacabra. <laughs> Instead of them, Damn. him. <laughs> okay. He had beautiful hair. <laughs> if we find a Bigfoot with beautiful hair, okay, <laughs> we got to go find that man and say, you were right. Redemption.